All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. Have you been printing Mandalorians, honeycomb shelves, baby Yodas, Snoopies, and all the fun stuff that we've been printing on this channel? Well, so have I, and I've been doing it for about three months, which means it's time to do maintenance on the X1 Carbon. So that's gonna be the video today. We're gonna to do maintenance on that. And um, you can also follow along if you have a P1P. There's only one step that's different with the P1P. I'll highlight that as we go. So please do not skip this step. Maintain your hardware and follow me today. Let's get this going. I'll get everything set up. Len Dizzle Production. All right, so let's take a look at some of the things that we'll need for this today. So I have some rags here, some microfiber rags and just some regular shop towel rags. I have links in the description to all of this stuff. I have a 1.5 millimeter, a two millimeter hex driver. I have one of the new air filters like I showed in the accessories video. I have some grease, some oil, this cool little tool for the tubing as well as the plug for the AMS. Um, instead of using an air can, I have this cool little thing here that blows air, as well as it does have a vacuum attachment as well, as you can see there. Uh, so we'll be using this, and we also have some isopropyl alcohol. I have 91%. It doesn't really specify which kind of alcohol you need in there. It just says that you need some. Use whatever you have. I wouldn't go out and buy anything unless you just don't simply have it. So with all of this stuff, um, we'll get started. All right, so before we get into any of the maintenance procedures, I think the first thing that we'll do is make sure everything is clean. Our build plate, as well as all of that stuff in there. I'm gonna take my air gun and blow out all of those ledges and everything. I'll probably take the top glass off and just blow everything out. And the cool thing about the air blower that I have is it has a little vacuum, so then I can vacuum up in the little corners and everything. So the first step, Let's get this thing clean and get all of that junk out of there. All right, now that everything's sparkling clean, we'll go ahead and get into the maintenance. All right, so the first thing that it calls for is to clean the axis rods there, the X-axis carbon rods. And it doesn't say it needs grease or anything, but it says to use a little bit of alcohol on a rag and to go ahead and wipe those down. So I will go ahead and do that. And get both sides. Then we'll move this over, get this last little piece here. All right, it says that uh, X-axis carbon rods can be cleaned with alcohol and a dust-free cloth. And it says to do this about once a month, which I haven't done, um, but I will start to do after this. So this is something that we need to do about once a month. All right, so next on the list is the Z axis lead screws. So these guys right here. So we need to grease, we need to clean and grease those. And there are two of them, one on each side. So what I'll do is I'll take a rag. We've already sprayed everything down. I'll wipe these down, get all the old grease and dirt off of each one. So as you can see, got all the dirt and the grease off of there. And what it says to do is to use lubricating grease and apply a thin coat over the lead screws. With the bed home, apply a thin coat of lubricating grease, then move the bed to the lower position. Apply another thin coat of grease on the Z-axis lead screws and home the printer again. So we do have it homed right now. So I will apply a thin layer of grease. And what I'm going to do is just kind of Get this in a couple of spots. Kind of rub it in. Do the same thing on the other side here. And then what we're gonna wanna do is lower the bed all the way down.
that we were getting grease on everything. Sweep it all the way down. Then it says to rehome it, so we'll hit the home button. And then we'll do that again. So the next thing that we need to do is clean these guide rods right here on each side. These are the Y axis and Z axis linear rods. And same thing like the other rods, we want to put a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on there. Wipe the dust. Get this other side here. And then we're going to apply a thin layer of oil on there with a rag. We got a little bit of oil on there. We'll run that across. And we'll move that back and forth to get that oil. All right, on to the next one. All right, I'm not going to be able to film this one, but you see that yellow gear right there. We're going to want to blow air all over that gear and blow out any loose filament or anything in there. The other thing that you can do is blow air right down here, as well as take this apart and blow all of that out. So let's make sure everything in the extruder is clean so you can see the yellow gear there too. All right, if you're following along in the guide, here I'm going to skip around a little bit because we have to do the same thing to do two different pieces. So I'm going to clean the camera and the LiDAR sensor with the Q-tip and a little bit of alcohol. It's going to be super hard to film. Uh, here's the camera and the LiDAR there. I'm going to do that, and I'll see you guys on the next step. All right, so to check the cutter, the filament cutter, that's right here on the extruder. And what we're going to need to do is undo this screw right here with a 1.5 millimeter. Let me get that done real quick. All right, so once you have it done and removed, you'll want to take it out and you're going to want to look at the blade there. Let's see if you can see that focus. And we're just looking for any chips or marks in the blade. I actually changed this one pretty recently because it had a big cut in it. So we'll go ahead and put that one back in. But that's how you check the blade. Next, inspect the silicone hot that's on the hot end right here. Make sure there's no tears or burns or anything like that. And this is one of the things that I did recommend that you buy with the printer. And that way you have it in case it gets worn out because those do get worn out. But this one is fine because I just replaced it not too long ago, but be sure to inspect it. All right, for the, so for this next piece, we're going to need to turn our printer around. I went ahead and disconnected everything from the AMS to make it easier. But there's two idler pulleys that are here and here. And what we're going to want to do, I don't know how well you can see, but there's a belt and a pulley. And we're going to want to put oil on the pulley and not on the belt on both sides right here. So I'll go ahead and get that done. And all I did at the top there was pushed a little bit on there. A little bit's going to get on the belt. Just don't oil the crap out of the belt. But make sure that's got a little bit of oil on it. All right, the next step is to clean the fans. So what we're going to want to do is blow air all along this fan. And then we're going to want to do the same thing with the extruder fan right up there. All right, next on the list is to inspect the nozzle wiper. Make sure that's good to go. Print a new one or make a new one, order a new one, whatever it happens to be if it's damaged. I just replaced this one about a month ago, so this one is good, but be sure to check yours. All right, next on the list is to change the uh, carbon filter. So if you print with carbon fiber, with ABS, with all of those type of things, you'll probably want to change this once a month. Since I only print with PLA mostly, it says that I can do this every three months. So all you do is pull this little thing out. There's a little white thing on there. Pull out the old one. Grab a new one, put it in there, 
Make sure that's out of the way. All right, last but certainly not least is the AMS. Couple things that we're gonna wanna do here. Clean everything out, make sure there's no dust, debris, little small pieces of filament. But we're also gonna wanna take this part out, flip it over, and there's some tubes in there that we're gonna wanna inspect. If you run like carbon fiber, ABS, these harsher uh, materials through your AMS, pay real close attention to those tubes because they do wear out. Um, so how we get to that and how I got this apart and everything is there is a little thing right here where you push and that releases the tube on the other side, unplug everything, put it on your bench. Then we're going to use our two millimeter. We're going to take out a screw here and a screw here and this piece will come out. Do watch out because there are wires plugged into this thing. You don't want to rip them out, but we'll take those two screws out and uh, get it flipped over so you can see. All right, so once you have it apart, these are the tubes that you're gonna to want to inspect right here. So especially if you're running carbon fiber or any of those harsher materials, you're definitely gonna to want to inspect those. You can use that little tool to undo these right here, which I'm gonna do and thoroughly inspect, make sure there's no holes along the back side here or anything like that. So I got two AMSs, so I'll need to do that on both of them. All right, we're on the final stretch. This is the last thing that we're gonna to wanna to check is the desiccant that's in these um, deals right here. I live in a pretty dry environment. I didn't think that I would need to change these, but I'm gonna go ahead and get some on order because I'm getting really close. And what you're looking for is it to turn into like this gel instead of this dry powder right here. So as you, and it turns kind of this yellowish color. So as you can see, mine's turning and this one is almost all gel. There's just a little bit of powder. So if yours looks the same or is it worse than this, then go ahead and get it changed. I'm gonna go ahead and get these on order. Um, should be good, I got a little bit left, um, but we'll go ahead and get that changed out whenever they get here. And that's it guys, so filming this, it took a couple of hours, but I would imagine it takes about 30, 45 minutes for you to get this done. Uh, please don't skip this one, do it at least every three months. Again, if you're printing a lot, a lot, a lot, I would do this a lot sooner. But um, hopefully this was helpful for everybody. Hope you have a great weekend and a great week, and I'll see you on the next video.